Our ANC presidential hopeful Dr. William Kize will today address the ANC Youth League Assembly in Langa. Let's get a preview. We now cross to our reporter Vanessa Puna. Vanessa, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. What can we expect from today's address and more importantly, what is likely um, you know, to be said and shared by Dr. William Kize? Yes, good afternoon to you. And the stage behind me is literally being set for uh, Dr. Mkize's address here uh, to uh, the uh, Ward 51 of the ANC Youth League uh, here in the Western Cape. I've got joining with me a spokesperson, a convener for uh, Ward 51, Bulalani Sidiani, to talk to us a bit about what exactly Dr. Mkize is expected to address at this CADES Assembly. Bulalani, very warm good afternoon to you. So, of course, um, this address by Dr. Mkize, a presidential hopeful, yes. comes at a time... Uh, when they um uh, uh, much activity is happening within the ANC itself. Um, meetings today, uh, NEC special meeting tomorrow. Uh, talk to us a bit about what we're expecting, Dr. Mkhize, to uh, the gathering of, of ANC Youth League, but also ANC members here in Langa this afternoon. Let me first start by saying good afternoon to you, Vanessa, and the listeners at SABC. I think what's critical about today and what's been happening from, from the previous days shows us that um, it is important for us to convene our ANC members in the amidst what is happening just to give them a sense of hope going into um, the, the, the 55th National Conference. So what Dr. Mkhize is going to be speaking about today is to address the issues that are happening within our movement, to speak to the people, its members, its delegates, what is actually going on, give them confidence as to the NEC handling this matter so that it doesn't get into something that we do not want it to be. So those critical, is critical issues need to be addressed today by Dr. Mkhize to say organizational rules you what are we doing about what are we saying to it give meat to that people give buzzwords here and there but they don't give us the critical meaning of stuff so dr mkiza today is to say is going to give us um the, the overview of um organizational room um, renewal what it means what is its essence how does it resonate with the membership of the anc so that is in its essence what he's going to be speaking to about to us about today and if there are any questions from the members then he's going to address them i expect that i expect Bulani, that the issue around the section uh, 89 uh, as, mm. as well as um reports now that the President Ramaphosa will be taking um, the mm. panel re uh, matter on review, mm -hmm. will, will come under discussion, mm -hmm. um, if not um, by, by Dr. McKees, mm -hmm. and certainly, certainly from the floor. I think yes. Um, so people want to know what's going on. And as we've seen um, from yesterday and the, the days um, past, is that there's been a, a lot of confusion coming from national, right? Where you have the TG speaking about something else and the national chairperson speaking about something else. And this has been um, um, said by various NEC members that that confusion is what needs to be addressed because people need to know what is actually going on. How are we handling this matter as the movement, right? So we, those questions are going to come, come up, obviously. And Dr. Mkiza, if, he's, if he can, is obviously going to speak about how we're going to be dealing with the matter going forward, but trying to ascertain um, um, to the membership that things are going to be handled and how they're going to be handled, if necessary, from his point of view as an NEC member, just to show that actually, as a movement, we are not in disarray in dealing with the critical issues that are facing us, but we are able to deal with them more um, succinctly and uh, straight to the point that we don't leave any room for doubt from our members that going into the 55th National Conference, things are going to be smoothed out and then we're going to be focusing in the renewal at a greater stage in terms of renewing the leadership of the ANC, but also renewing uh, its mandate within its um, membership. You're talking about the 55th Conference in just under two weeks or so. Um, you've also made no secret about uh, where, where your wards, uh, the ANC Youth League 51's wards loyalties lie. I think it, it's the national, well, let's, let's start with the NYTT. When the NYTT was given the opportunity to declare its preferred candidate, it declared candidate Zulim Kize, um, created Zulim Kize as its preferred candidate. Now, as a unit of the greater ANC Youth League, we also have to take up that mantle to say our leaders nationally have declared. Now, this is what we're saying from the person that has been declared Come to the people, come to the young people, speak to them. What is it that you're going to be addressing as 
a person who's going to be incoming president? What are the issues that are going to be pertaining to the um, you, um, um, young people? Um, and what are you prepared to bring on board? So this is what we wanted to do. We wanted to give more context to the fact that the NYTT declared um, um, Keda Zulim Kize as his preferred candidate, and we fall under that structure now to say, now come to the people, address your people, and let them... Um, ask questions so that they can find clarity within you being their preferred candidate. Lilani, thank you very much for speaking to us. Of course, the, the ANC Youth League Award 51 convener here in the Western Cape, Bulilani Sidiani, just explaining to us a bit about the kind of conversations that will be taking place here today when Dr. Zwelim Kizi addresses uh, this uh, CADES assembly here in Langa in Cape Town in a short while. Vanessa, before I let you go, just uh, um, has Zelen Kize arrived? Um, and also, when are we likely to see the um, address um, take place? And also, what's the mood like there, you know, given the developments that happened yesterday at the NEC emergency meeting that happened but didn't quite happen? Yes, I think that's one of the issues that uh, Bulilani Sidiani told us uh, would be cl uh, clarified here today at this meeting. Um, I can tell you that uh, the are still, um, uh, well, the matter of being, uh, the, the stage being set up is still taking place. So there aren't very many candidates here at the moment. We do expect that today's event will start at three o'clock. And I have been told that there will be one or two speakers uh, speaking ahead of Dr. Zwelim Kezi. So we can expect his address to take place any time, I would say, from 3.15 to 3.30 this afternoon and um, as uh, delegates arrive here of course we'll engage with them uh, for uh, their sense of what has been transpiring in the, in the ruling party of late and, and this weekend uh, and we'll then uh, capture their voices and uh, let our viewers know once we've done so. Well, we certainly look forward to what Dr. Zwerim Kize will say, considering that not a lot of members, you know, wanted to uh, speak to the media, of course, yesterday uh, following that meeting that was abruptly adjourned. But Vanessa, let me leave you to it. We'll definitely get an update uh, a little bit later on. Thank you so much for your time. Vanessa Puna there out in Langa, ANC Youth League Assembly due to start shortly.